Now, whether it was something you did consciously, whether it's because you saw me at a few putts and you just got more over the ball, on the right-hand side, there's a little bit more lean over the ball, which will help, OK? Mm. Because the more your top half of your back there, head and shoulders are this way, the easier now for your shoulders to rock back and forth. It's a lot easier now for the putter to swing on that kind of... And there will be a little bit of a curvature, but if we look at the one on the right here, on the left here now, your feet are going over there. I can't even... Oh, the hole's just about there, OK? So the hole now is over there and as we said and both agreed if we just sort of take a snapshot of that where you're going it looks like you're going sort of uh, a good long way over there yeah. to the right hand side so they hit that golf ball now straight as you can see you're gonna have to sort of twist that putter cause your body sort of do this well that's going to affect your strike massively okay affect the way you contact that golf ball how the ball's going to roll it's going to be spinning and miss hit so therefore when you first hit the first putt as you do in this case the first one was short then you hit it a bit harder your strike may have been a percentage a bit better and the path may have been a bit better and the ball goes a bit further. And the next time, and then you just react, react every single time until you figure out kind of where straight is and where the right pace is. And that's obviously okay on here, but then out there you only get one go, as we said. It's making sure your first putt is of a good sound quality. And if it is short or long, the information you can then take from it is, okay, I wasn't long enough with my swing or I was too short, okay? Because if you're just hitting putts with different variations every single time, it's a guess. Those two balls, when they're side by side, okay, it was a big miss hit, two inch miss hit, okay, it's a big, there's a big di discrepancy in terms of the contact, but it's halfway. So I was using 50% power. So if I'm going over a 20 foot putt, it's going 10 foot. And even though you saw me hit the yellow ball at the same time and see the yellow ball get there, when I said to you how far that white ball gone, was that hit hard enough? It was like, no. Because in your head, you saw the ball being short, even though you knew I hit it the same, because it was the same at the same time. The ball then rolled long enough with the correct strike, but halfway with the miss hit. So now that's a big miss, as I said, okay? But if we can do get some feedback, and in terms of these here, we can see the two golf balls here, either side of your object ball, okay? Your object is just to miss them. Now you can do that at home. Just have two balls on the ground and just swing your putter back and through continually try and get 10 swings in a row stand up stop straighten your back out reset back over the ball 10 swings in a row. if you find that super easy make it narrow yeah. if you find you just miss the first one every time make it a bit wider you kind of set a judgment to how wide it should be okay ideally you don't really want more than i guess like a, th a finger witch from ball to putter if you're sort of making a three or four inch gap it's well it could go through anywhere couldn't yeah. your, your miss then could be two inches big and you still actually make a through the gap okay so make the gap there nice and small okay and the other thing if you can is get the black line on the golf ball pointing vertically up and if you then strike the ball properly with a face that's fairly square as this one's here you go back and as you go back through the gate there swinging the club back nice and straight and through that black line you're not going to see that clearly but the black line is rolling yeah. end over end it might yeah. be when it comes up on your phone or your ipod at home or your laptop the black line is rolling a bit more end over end, which is what we're looking to try and do. A ball rolling, as we said, will stay on line better. Mm. Okay? Yeah. And every three foot, I would say, <sighs> there's a few occasions when there's a severe slope. There's a couple of greens at Ridge. Where I think there's, from memory when I played, there was a couple of greens on sort of like around six or seven. when the path is quite a sloping green. Yes, you might aim for a putt and underread it or misread it, and the ball might be four or five foot left or right. But 99.9% .9 of the time, if you're going from here to number two or even longer putts, if you were to take three putts because your first putt is either way short or way long, I doubt you'd have a putt from here to number two and get the right pace and be seven foot left, would you? No. Just not going to happen. Even if, you, even if you sort of aimed over there and really spin hooked it or did the other thing and cut it the other way, you're going to get the ball kind of going down a corridor towards the hole. So you said distance control has been the biggest thing. As you then get closer, two, three, four, five feet range, where you're looking to hold it, as you did on a lot of these occasions, that's when your alignment becomes more of an issue because, in theory, you shouldn't really be getting the pace wrong from four or five feet, could you? You're not going to whack it ten foot past from four foot, and you can't leave it six foot short from four foot, obviously. Mm. So the closer we get and the higher expectation becomes of holding it, the more the alignment becomes an issue, OK? Going back to the reading of the greens, I think it was on hole number three. Now, yes, you did two putt, but you left yourself a six, seven footer to make that second putt. You sort of doubted yourself with the read and we're going, well, it's a bit to the right. Is it a bit more right? I don't know. And when you doubt anything, you tend to be more tentative because yeah. you're not too sure what to do. Pick a spot. And in some ways, I did a green reading course years ago and it showed, actually it helped me read the greens perfectly. Now, when I did the measurements myself, I possibly got some of them wrong. Because I was over the golf ball thing, I had the perfect read. I was holding putts for fun because I just thought this is the perfect read. Even if I didn't get the right read, chances are I didn't start on the exact line. Because I was in a good putt on the ball that she'd get into the hole, 
Ed Morse has it going in. Now, if you're whacking it way past, yes, the hole becomes very, very small, OK? But if you're all your putts, as we said, the common theme was your first five putts, everything was three, four, five or six feet short. Now, in credit to you, the fact you hold those three and four footers, but after a while it got too much and you missed the fifth putt, OK? Yeah. So work on those two goalposts side by side. Just get used to putting through there, OK? Making sure your setup's a little more over the ball so your arms can swing back. This is when you're more upright, it will tend to want to arc, OK? And again, getting them lined up to target, obviously, with your feet and your body. And then lie on the golf ball, get that ball rolling. Well, the feedback you're going to get from that's going to be very invaluable yeah. because you can then see what the ball's doing. And just finally, then, one last thing, when you're hitting the ball on the golf course, hit your putt and try and hold the follow through. Just swing through. Don't try to, to be guiding and stopping here. Just sort of go, doosh, and just hold it there. See where it's gone, OK? Don't sort of... Try and hit... Yeah. As far as you go back, you go forward. Similar, so, yeah. If I brought that club a second, the pendulum of the club, as this club goes back kind of this way... That's your putting stroke. Yeah. But when you swing through to here, you hold it there. Mm. Okay? What you were doing was going back and going, yeah. and then there's no information given. Okay? Right. Have a couple more putts into number two, and then we'll uh, try and do that last sort of two putts around the six holes again, all right?